good day friends this video is the continuation of the previous two videos that is your fixed form firefighting system okay in this one we are going to see about the working principle of it and uh, the explanation of uh, the low expansion foam and the high expansion foam low expansion which is utilized on deck and high expansion which is utilized in engine room and pump room so here you can also see that another diagrammatic representation uh, which will clear the concept okay so here you can see the foam tank and then you have the um, uh, non-return valve arrangements so it is the foam pump uh, which is taking the suction and then discharging over here this is also the non-return valve arrangement and uh, this is going to go to the foam proportionator here also the foam proportionator and this the red color line which you can see over here so here you have the emergency fire pump which takes the suction and this is going to discharge over here you can see this one through this non-return valve it is going to go through and the water is driving water is passing through the venturi and uh, this creates the suction and foam will be sucked over there water and foam already mixed in this one and this is going to normally open valve this is normally closed valve going to the engine room starboard purifier room all the places okay and when we talk about this one this is going to go on the uh, pump room port this is engine room port okay so uh, and there you have the uh, basically high expansion foam utilized okay and uh, on earlier earlier diagram we have seen already the deck foam fire so you can see that the system shows the uh, delivers correct amount of foam compound into the water supply of the main deck foam is drawn from one of the two large tanks fitted in the vent arrangement by the foam pump that we have seen earlier the foam pump is also having the relief valve fitted whatever the excess foam which is being taken up by the pump is being uh, returned back okay so discharge back to the tank through the diaphragm control valve and uh, within the two sensing end as the demand varies due to the number of outlets okay so when the uh, uh, different maybe two outlets maybe four outlets are being opened so the demand will vary okay so diaphragm valve delivers the correct amount of foam compound into the water main for any set conditions okay so uh, because the demand will be more than more amount of the foam concentrate liquid should pass through so that is also uh, being controlled due to the uh, with the help of diaphragm valve okay so continuing with the working of the fixed foam system here uh, this uh, foam monitors are fitted on deck and these are supplied through the deck main there are additional portable notches also which is being supplied through on deck basically to supply the foam all around the deck we have to cover all the area okay and foam drench nozzles in the machinery spaces are also situated above the area of high risk basically uh, when we are talking about uh, the High, risk, uh, high expansion foam. The control valves are located in the foam compartment which is outside the machinery spaces. Okay, and uh, the second water supply is also available from the emergency fire pump situation in the forward part of the tanker or wherever is the suitable location which is being given. Okay. Now, on a large uh, vessel, emergency fire pump may be a two stage pump. Possible. Possible because the uh, it has to take suction. Uh, and discharge a large quantity okay with the first stage below the water line acts as a booster for the second stage fitted at the deck level so this type of the arrangement also possible in case of the emergency fire pump the foam plant must be capable of providing foam for the firefighting in the machinery space where the water is supplied by the emergency fire pump in case the fire is in engine room so we cannot utilize the fire and gs pump or the bilge and ballast pump so in that case the emergency fire pump which is actually located outside the engine room will be utilized okay what are the important properties of the mechanical foam so now we are going to see about the important properties of the mechanical foam mechanical foam is a smothering agent as we uh, know this uh, this is very important 
to say that uh, this is the smothering agent the production of this foam is mainly in the process of agitation of mixture of water so how this foam is being produced this is something which is going to mix with the water and in a proper proportion and agitate and air is utilizing uh, for the complete agitation of it and the uh, foam is being generated and uh, this is something which is uh, having the continuous bubble formation and uh, depending upon the low uh, uh, expansion foam or the high expansion foam the utilization will be there foam compound is an aqueous solution of partially hydrolyzed curtain stabilized with the iron salts so this is something which you can see here the chemical properties of it okay with modern foam making nozzles the mechanical foam uh, constituency can be varied from the sloppy to stiff so now the quality of the foam is also being uh, done because of the new type of the nozzles actually you must observe that the cuts are there so that the air can be sucked and this air is going to do the agitation part of it okay the stiff foams are only blanketing quality when we talk about the stiff foam so this is going to cover up and make a blanket and cut off the oxygen supply sloppy foam has the smothering as well as the additional cooling properties so when we talk about the sloppy and the stiff these are the two varieties and there are two different functionalities sloppy is doing additional cooling part also other than the smothering the expansion ratio is 30 is to 1 water to foam compound producing 200 is to 1 foam to compound okay so this is something which is uh, the criteria of it depending upon the utilization quality quantity of the foam is given about 6 inches depth over the areas to be uh, protected okay the duration of the whole capacity discharge should be less than 5 minutes okay the foam should not be disturbed too early Okay, now we are going to uh, discuss about the difference between uh, mechanical foam and chemical foam. Okay, so we can we already know that mechanical foam and uh, chemical foam. Okay, so now we will see over here. Mechanical foam, as you can see, the bubble filled with air. Okay, so that means air is doing the main functionality of creating of the mechanical foam. When we talk about this chemical foam, chemical reaction happen and the CO2 is being produced and this CO2 is being in the bubble. Okay. Foam is produced by mechanically mixing of foam concentrate, water, air, uh, where you have the special nozzle requirement, where you have the cut in the nozzle through which the air will go. In this form, foam is produced with the reaction of aluminum sulfate and sodium bicarbonate and with a foam stabilizer. Chemical reaction happen and this is produced. Expansion ratio is a uh, little bit higher side. 30 is to 1 to 20, 2000, uh, 200 into 1. Okay. And here you can say the lower expansion ratio, that means it is within 20. Okay. Uh, 3 is to 1 to 20 is to 1. So low expansion. And this one is mostly used in the fixed installation and uh, or non uh, portable fire extinguisher. That means a mobile unit, which you can say. And it is mostly utilized on the portable fire extinguishers. Okay. Now, high expansion foam, uh, as you know that the high expansion foam basically uh, utilized on the engine room as well as the pump room part of it. Okay, and uh, high expansion foam uh, is uh, having the expansion ratio in the range up till uh, 1000 uh, is to 1 as per the IMO guidelines. Okay, high expansion foam is uh, generated by blowing air through the mess. Basically, uh, we have the fan uh, and uh, this fan is... Uh, uh, passing through this uh, uh, this mess and the air and the, as well as the uh, foam mixture uh, is passing through it and it creates a, a foam okay so mess is corrugated and the whole size governs the expansion ratio basically the uh, whole uh, size of this mess is talking about the expansion ratio of it the limit is required because the foam is composed largely of air and the bricks when it contact with the fire okay basically we have the larger expansion uh, ratio as, as the uh, as compared with the low expansion foam and we have the foam bubble size also bigger okay and it fills up the full compartment okay and that's how it uh, uh, extinguishes the fire on it okay however in uh, 1000 is to one foam originally one volume of the foam liquid evaporates and produces enough steam to reduce the percentage of oxygen in the steam air mixture ratio about 7.5 percent and that's how the uh, fire extinguishes okay the amount is below the level required for the combustion of course it will not support the combustion and uh, also it is some heavier foam also can be produced on it 
this is also one of the part as you can see the high expansion foam over here the sea water which is passing through and this is the inductor and foam concentrate is kept over there so due to the sea water induction part of it the foam is being sucked over here and this is you can through uh, through this sprayers these are you can say the nozzle form of it and this is going to spray over there into this mesh and this mesh size nylon mesh size will govern the uh, your expansion ratio as per the mesh size and this is you have the fan and uh, this fan is basically running over here and this uh, foam is uh, uh, sent to the boilers or engine rooms uh, over here okay so this is the main part of it and uh, i hope uh, uh, whatever the explanation which is given in this video is helpful to you guys and uh, it will be able to uh, clear your doubts and uh, the questions in your mind Thank you and I hope all of you understood this one. Thank you again. Okay.